Today we're talking about the sleeping dragon, the serpent. He whose limbs shatter mountains and whose back scrapes the sky. Today we're talking about Fin Fang Foom. Thanks for watching JLS Comics. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I upload videos just like this every week. Alright, let's jump into our story. The fearsome dragon Fin Fang Foom's name is an interesting one. It was a name conceived by the man himself, Stan Lee. Stan has said that he was watching an old musical comedy from West End and Broadway called Chu Chin Chow, a story based on Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. And with Stan being a fan of alliteration, that name stuck with Stan from there. When conceptualizing his new dragon, he took the alliteration and meter and it led him to Fin Fang Foom. And Fin Fang Foom is not of this earth. He is, in fact, an extraterrestrial biological entity, 15 stories tall with massive wings and an indestructible body that can fly and spit fire and acid venom, spreading anger and wrecking havoc wherever he goes. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Can I say that? Let's start over. The story starts ages ago on a planet called Kakara Nathara, sometimes referred to as Maklu 4, in the 23rd declination of the Greater Magellanic Cloud in the Milky Way. The planet was full of glory and wonder, of perfect peace and fulfillment. But dragons, the Makluans, had conquered the planet with nothing left to conquer. They developed science and arts, and it was a peaceful and tranquil existence, but for some, utterly boring. A group of dragons, including their captain, Chen Shu, their navigator, Fin Fang Foom, Wu Pong, Axon Carr, and perhaps the Great Protector, were exiled as they wouldn't conform to their species' new peaceful ways. And so in exile, the group decided to leave their quiet home and head into the stars in a massive emerald-colored dragon-shaped spaceship, which was powered by ten rings, ten mystical cylinders, which all worked together but which each possessed their own power by way of the dead, ghostly, cosmic warrior trapped within each one. On clues from tales told around the cosmos, this dragon expedition found its way to the third planet from the sun in a solar system elsewhere in the Milky Way, Earth, the most tumultuous and violent planet in the entire galaxy. But what happened next was not part of their grand plan. The Emerald Dragon ship crashed in a land known as China, in an area called the Valley of Spirits, trapping the dragon party on Earth. The Earthlings slew six of the dragons, including Axon Carr, contributing to the ancient legends of terrifying beasts that swam in the clouds and breathed fire from the heavens, mixing those legends with the true stories of actual dragons like Sholau the Undying, the dragon that gave Iron Fist his power. The Valley of Spirits then became the Valley of Dragons, a fearful region few dared tread. The remaining dragons discovered an ability to transmute, to shapeshift, and so they disguised themselves as homo sapiens and intermingled with the humans. And as humans, they learned new ways to conquer and fight and to acquire. They learned war and power through money and through these discoveries they grew to like their new forms. Fin Fang Foom, however, remained behind with the crashed ship. And there in the ruins of his ship, entombed in the mountainside, Fin Fang Foom remained as he went into a state of hibernation and sleep. Later in time, Fin Fang Foom awakened again in ancient Greece where he ended up battling the mystical, multi-headed beast known as Hydra. And then again in later years as he fought with dragons like Tic-Tac-Toe, ki ka Khan, and Lo Lin Lam. A Chinese Xing Dynasty emperor wanted to build his massive home near Fin Fang Foom's resting place and awaken the dragon who attacked the emperor and his men but the sorcerer's brother, along with the Five Weapons Society, were able to hold Fin Fang Foom off from completely destroying them. Fang Foom's first published appearance, Chan Lu Chao discovered an ancient manuscript, and he used it to awaken the mighty dragon from his slumber once more. Chan lived on an island called Formosa, also called Taiwan, and ruled by a Chinese nationalist government that was under threat of invasion from the Chinese communist government on China's mainland. Chan hatched a daring plan. He went to Fin Fang Foom's cave and awakened the great beast, then taunted him, and then rode out on a horseback with the mighty dragon chasing him close behind and Finn chased Chan right into the communist camp and completely destroyed it, then went back to his tomb in the mountainside where he was put back to sleep with mystical herbs. A man known as the Mandarin traveled to the Valley of Dragons, that area in China once called the Valley of Spirits, and there he discovered the colossal skeleton of Axon Carr, and there he took the Ten Rings for himself, a set of artifacts capable of transporting a massive ship across the galaxy that he could also wear and wield from his arms. He had great power, but the spirits trapped in the rings began to influence the Mandarin's mind and clouded his memory, hoping to manipulate him into freeing the spirits from their captivity. Another time, Foom was trapped in the ice in Antarctica, and when he came out of the ice, he possessed a scientist studying global warming named Dr. Jerry Carpenter, and then took on the form of Dr. Carl Roberts. Dr. Bruce Banner had been found nearby in the snow, and when Banner awoke and turned to his Hulk form, Hulk and Fin Fang Foom ended up battling, and he ended up throwing him so hard that he left orbit and landed on the moon. 
The Collector found Fin Fang Foom and imprisoned him along with a bunch of other monsters and creatures in his chambers deep beneath his museum in Canada. And so he captured Fin Fang Foom too. And this is where he imprisoned Fin Fang Foom as well. But Mole Man came and attacked Collector's facility and set all the monsters free. The recently formed Fantastic Four rounded them up and put them, Fin Fang Foom included, on Monster Isle. But Finn just took off when he wanted to go back to sleep. Me too, Foom. Me too. Been a long week. During those early Marvel days, in Foom's never-ending cycle of sleep and anger, the Fantastic Four teamed up with Sentry to fight with Foom. He was defeated though, and he went back to rest. Later, a scientist named Dr. Vault was able to again reawaken the dragon and control him to fight another colossal creature named It, the Living Colossus. But Fin Fang Foom was able to break away from the doctor's control, and Fin teamed up with It, the Living Colossus, to beat back the invading Stonian gargoyles of Stonus V. And again, after this, Fin Fang Foom went back to sleep. In Thor 379, Jormungand, the Midgard serpent of Norse mythology, impersonated Fin Fang Foom in order to fight with Thor and some frost giants. He wasn't dead though. Finn had actually gone to America to oppose the Legion of Night, a group of occultists that included a now adult Chan Luchow. After the battle with the Legion of Night, the demon was extracted from the dragon, allowing him to go back to sleep. But then Chan Shu stole one of the Ten Rings and replaced it with a fake, so the Mandarin went to Chinatown in San Francisco to confront Chan and get the real ring back. Chan gave Mandarin the real ring back, and then he used his own power to give Mandarin clarity of mind back. And when he did this, Mandarin went back to the Valley of the Sleeping Dragon and to the place he discovered Fin Fang Foom all those years ago. And Mandarin reawoke Fin and teamed up with him to take over the world. Fin Fang Foom emerged from the cavernous temple and laid waste to the landscape in the area. Mandarin and Chen were able to control Fin Fang Foom enough that they took control of a large swath of China completely for themselves. Iron Man showed up to help stop Mandarin and the rampaging dragon, but Fin Fang Foom took out the Iron Man rather quickly. That's when Chen revealed himself as a dragon, and the gathering of the dragons occurred, and a bunch more dragons appeared, revealing their plan all along was to reclaim the Ten Rings right from the Mandarin. And Mandarin teamed up with War Machine and Iron Man, who used the Ten Rings to take out the Ten Dragons. And the dragons were destroyed, and the Age of Dragons was over. Or was it? Fin Fang Foom's body was destroyed, but his spirit lived on. Finn bonded his spirit with a dragon statue, which sat on the shelves of the Asia House Curio and Treasure Shop, which was then stolen by a boy named Billy Yuan. Although this too was part of Finn's plan. In fact, he'd influenced Billy to come into the shop and steal the statue. Billy was affected by the statue and he turned reptilian and rampaged through the streets and as Iron Man fought with his Billy Lizard, Finn used Billy's body as a conduit to draw thousands of lizards and creatures from the subterranean areas beneath the city and from those combined with Billy's body, Fin Fang Foom reformed. But his mind was not complete. Billy and Finn wrestled for mental control and Billy was able to take over for a moment, enough for Iron Man to attack, which knocked Fin Fang Foom out and allowed Billy's spirit to leave in peace. Iron Man took the slumbering beast over to a military contractor working for the US Navy who then put the dragon back on Monster Isle. And it was from there that he fought the Justice League who'd come over from DC Comics in a multi-dimensional crossover event called JLA Avengers. And it was Wonder Woman in that conflict who defeated the mighty dragon. In another story, the villain known as Nightmare morphed the mindless one into a copy of Fin Fang Foom and forced it to fight with the Incredible Hulk. Then, still trapped and imprisoned on Monster Isle, Fin Fang Foom worked with his lawyer, attorney Jennifer Walters, who both continued to fight and litigate for his release from his Monster Isle prison. Fin won a parole, but the agreement was that he would shrink down to human size and get a quote-unquote normal job. And he also had to meet regularly with Doc Samson for psychiatric sessions. So Finn was given a job as head chef at the Green Walk, a Chinese restaurant inside the Fantastic Four's Baxter Building. His monster friends were also released, Electro the Robot, Gorgilla the Ape, and Gugum. And the four of them formed the Fin Fang Four, and even had to work together to defeat a creature from the microverse named Tim Booba. Benedict Wong was out for a stroll in New York once when he ran into this new version of Fin Fang Foom, a creature he was familiar with from his studies of Cameratage, where he'd read the legends of his battles against the likes of Ki Ka Khan, Lo Lim Lam, and Tic Tac Toe. Finn teamed up with Wong to defeat some Santa robots that Hydra had unleashed in the city. In the summer of 2008, Adi Granoff and John Favreau put out a miniseries called Iron Man Viva Las Vegas. Elsa Bloodstone was in China exploring a cave and found a giant golden statue called the Golden Dragon. Golden Dragon, it turns out, was the shell for Fin Fang Foom himself. You may recognize John Favreau as the director and one of the architects along with Kevin Feige of the MCU. Well, Favreau was so taken with the idea of the giant ancient dragon that he included an easter egg in his 2008 Iron Man film where you can see an image of Fin Fang Foom on a billboard that Stark in his Mark II armor briefly flew by. 
And then again we see Fin Fang Foom on Takar Tower in Thor Ragnarok. In a comic book in 2008 called Fin Fang 4 Return, Foom burst into Doc Samson's office to put a stop to his psychiatric sessions with the rest of the Fin Fang 4. He was just generally ornery, upset that a dragon lord like he was working at a walk and that he'd just learned that he has arthritis of the tail. His big foe for this story? Ed Snodgrass, the restaurant critic. Squirrel Girl and Tippy Toe fought with Foom next in Wisconsin and took the dragon down, defeated again by Squirrel Girl of all people. And then Mentalo controlled Fing Fang Foom and forced him to attack Tokyo and so Wolverine, Emma Frost, and Cyclops of the Astonishing X-Men along with Armor had to come try to stop him from ruining the island. And they ended up stopping him where they tied him to a construction tower. And next, Fin Fang Foom fought with the Avengers and Spider-Man back in New York City. The next battle took place in Las Vegas, Nevada. Monica Rappuccini, the scientist supreme of AIM, fought with the Hulks like Red She-Hulk, Hulk, Amadeus Cho, A-Bomb. And after a wish was cast, Finn and other beasts were conjured up. And this Foom fought with Hulk. Finn was given the power of a wish, and he wished to conquer the world. But using the wish put him under the control of Tyrannus, who then sent him and Hulk to the Dark Dimension, along with Red She-Hulk and the others, where they kept fighting. Tyrannus rode atop Foom and they flew to a Gamma Bomb facility and Tyrannus had Foom eat the Gamma Bombs which enabled him to breathe Gamma Irradiated Fire. The Gamma Powered Hulks absorbed the Gamma Power from his fire breath and Fin Fang Foom was back to his dragon self once more. In 2012's Wolverine and the X-Men, Dupe fought with the dragon and then after Foom attacked a couple people, Thor and Iron Man were again forced to take the dragon out. And in yet another story, Hulk was traveling through time as an agent of TIME to stop the Kronarchus, and he ran into the 15th century version of Fin Fang Foom. Hulk wrapped the dragon's tail around his neck and choked him out. Later in Deadpool's Cosmic Puzzle Quest, after traveling through the Savage Land of the Negative Zone and being chased by Mangog, Deadpool ended up in the rocky lair of Finn, who gave him one of the pieces to the puzzle. The two monsters, still fighting, followed Deadpool to Easter Island, where the Moai statues rose up and joined the fray. Deadpool took the ship that Watcher gave him and flew it right down Foom's throat, and then Odin showed up and teleported them to Asgard. But right after this, a guy named John Eden, the Quiet Man, manipulated Fin Fang Foom into attacking New York City, and it was up to the Fantastic Four once again to stop him. They used a chemical agent to do just that. The FF turned the dragon over to the custody and the care of S.W.O.R.D. In a title called Avengers Child Life, Foom once again fought with the Avengers, and it took the entirety of Earth's Mightiest to stop the dragon. It was at this point that Foom decided he wanted to go back to his home planet. First, he went to a planet where he knew there were Makluwan eggs buried. He wanted to grow them and hatch the eggs to create his own dragon army and take Maklu 4 back from the people who exiled him. In order to hatch the eggs though, they needed to be covered in blood, and so Foom changed his name to Serpent and started capturing people and children and even Terex the Tamer to dig out the buried eggs for him. And then Drax the Destroyer showed up trying to track down the missing children that Foom had stolen, but Drax too was captured by Foom. And Finn decided to force his captives to fight so he could use the blood spilled in the arena battles to bathe the eggs which would allow them to hatch. But Drax, Terex, and the others broke free and they fought with Finn Fang Foom. And then Finn flew through a portal to Maklu 4 with his eggs with Drax right behind him. Foom was then ashamed and asked to be killed for his deeds. But Drax left him alive with his shame, alone save with Terex the Tamer who decided to stay with Foom and they became friends. Together the two hung out and grew crops on their land they called the Fin Fang Farm. Meanwhile, one of the eggs on Maklu 4 hatched, and when Finn heard the cry of the baby dragon, he went to Maklu 4 and confronted the dragons and Drax who was there warring with the species. A mercenary named Killer Thrill stole the baby dragon and Foom was able to convince Drax and his fighters that he wanted peace and to let him go get his baby. At the end of that part of the story, Foom realized he couldn't raise the baby in peace on his own, and so he left it in the care of Drax, and Finn went back to the farm for a bit before returning to Earth. On Earth, a lady named Lady Hellbender started hunting Foom, who was working with Amadeus Cho to round up and capture different monsters on Earth. And near Hawaii, Cho as Hulk and Foom ended up fighting. Foom spit acid at Cho Hulk, but then Hulk put chemicals in the dragon's mouth that turned the acid to salt, and this allowed Hulk to knock the dragon out. In yet another story, Professor Holt created a pheromone that could make Finn go into another rampage. S.H.I.E.L.D. showed up with Old Man Logan to try to stop her and she activated Foom who ended up eating Old Man Logan. And the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents on Maria Hill's helicarrier like Honey Badger and even X-23 Wolverine. And inside of Foom, now that she's been eaten, X-23 and Old Man Logan claw their way to freedom while Wolverine put the pheromones on herself to lead the dragon away from civilization. That's when something interesting happened. Foom was flying around terrorizing people and ended up crapping on someone's house. 
It fooms waste gave the homeowner the power of nasty smells, and that's how this guy named Alex became the Shit King. I don't think we'll see him in the MCU anytime soon. In the Gwenpool Holiday Special of 2017, Fin Fang Foom appeared to help Gwen's tailor, Ronnie, with a sale. Yeah, I know, but it happened. But then he teamed up with Thanos, Red Skull, and MODOK to attack New York City, and he had to be taken down with a Venom Blast from Miles Morales' Spider-Man. And it took Galactus as the benevolent Lifebringer to then stop Thanos and Red Skull. And then during an event called Monsters Unleashed, an inhuman kid named Kid Kaiju, who could control and conjure monsters through his drawings, drew a picture of Fin Fang Foom fighting with the Hulk, and it led to them being manifested right outside of his house, and Foom battled with Carol Danvers, Jane Foster as Thor, Captain America, and Doctor Strange in San Diego as Kid Kaiju continued to draw his monsters. And later in the event, Kid Kaiju summoned him by artwork to help in the battle against the Leviathans. In the 2018 X-Men Gold Annual, Foom once more battled and lost to the X-Men, this time Armor, Storm, Colossus, Ink, and Shadowcat. Next, Controller used Foom to attack New York. Iron Man used his Foom Buster armor to defeat the dragon and save the city. He shot antibodies right into the dragon to dislodge Controller's control disc, which broke him free of Controller's control, and so Fin Fang Foom left. Then a lady named Melissa Morbeck brought Foom together with Mordo, Doctor Doom, Modok, Taskmaster, Leader, Whiplash, and Dormammu to take down the seemingly unbeatable Squirrel Girl. They all fought until Galactus showed up to put a stop to the nonsense. It was then that Foom decided he was tired. He wanted his anger and rage gone, so he meditated and was able to remove those emotions from his body, but they manifested outside of him as dragons while Foom himself was shrunken down. Foom went to the Avengers to ask for help, but the three dragons from his emotions attacked Avengers Mountain and the agents of Wakanda. Brew convinced Foom to reabsorb the other three dragons, and the Warriors 3 and Okoye showed up to fight with Foom too, but it was Brew who convinced Foom to give up his anger. So Foom chose to end the fight and, now fully in control of himself, left to seek out his new destiny in his own, free of his bonds of negativity. Sadly though, he wouldn't be completely free. The King in Black, Null, controlled Foom and sent him to Asgard to attack Beta Ray Bill and Lady Sif. And this nullified Foom stood atop the Rainbow Bridge and ate and clawed his way through the warriors of Asgard. They were nearly defeated but King Thor showed up to take down Foom with a massive lightning blast. And that's how we leave Fin Fang Foom in Marvel Comics in the summer of 2021. There's been a plethora of alternate reality appearances as well including numerous animated showings. For example, the Beyonder killed a Foom that was part of the Lethal Legion in 2001's Mutant X Annual. Another Foom rampaging across Japan was killed during Paradise X. In Exiles, there was another Foom that was eaten by Krakoa, and in 2006's Next Wave, the Beyond Corporation found a sleeping Fin Fang Foom in North Dakota and created a clone out of him. In the 1602 timeline, Fin Fang Foom ravaged the Chinese countryside before being taken down by Hulk at the Great Wall of China. And in 2015, Fin Fang Foom appeared on God Emperor Doom's battle world during the Secret War where he fought with Polaris and Namor in the Monarchy of M. And a different battle world, Fin Fang Foom from Earth 51910 was fed to Galactus by Silver Surfer and he perished as a snack. So where will he show up next? We'll have to wait and see. Until then, that's a wrap on this one my friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll be one of the first to know when I upload videos just like this each and every week. I'm Jesse, this is JLS Comics, and I'll see you soon.